Hey buddy, it's John Planet Tech, and today we're going to be going straight into a gallery type shooter for Construct 2. So this is great for those t uh, phones or tablet devices where you just want to tap a screen. Make it a really easy game that is still has some complexity and depth. It kind of a uh, it's not like straight up easy for the player just to be like, I got this, I got this. You make you make it a little bit hard without it being super hard to code. So we have our uh, basically, um, in, in, in Construct 2, we have two layouts or two levels. We have our menu, kind of our menu, since it's a very simple game, we don't need to have like a super complex setup. Um, and then we actually have our game, and we're going to actually increase the uh, content on both of these. So later we're going to improve, uh, have like a mute and non mute, and then like a score counter. And then on the, on the game, it's actually going to uh, increase in complexity and what's uh, actually on it. And we may even change the layout uh, due to you know your score. It may randomly start changing. So um, all the stuff that you need for this are actually in the demo links down below. It's from Kenny. You, you've seen this stuff on Open Game Art and probably on the Unity 3D asset store. And everything is free, so you guys can play around with it however you want. Also, the file for this uh, tutorial is actually also down below in case you want to download it, play with it, change it, or just use it as is. All right, so we have a tiled background. This will keep rendering cost down. Then we have a regular sprite and then another sprite. Now, this sprite also has transparency and it is the studio logo. And uh, this will actually cost in some. Um, rendering uh, but it's not a huge amount also the ready button actually has a, uh, a sign that's how I pronounce it uh, effect where it actually um, it's basically just gr uh, has a growth effect so the movement so it's basically some sort of movement where we can go horizontally with height angle opacity value forwards and backwards all that type of stuff we're just going to stick with sides. This means that the sprite is actually going to increase and decrease in sides. And we can actually right here real quick. This gets bigger and then smaller. And then our code for it is uh, mouse. Uh, so on left click button of the ready button, uh, we're going to go to the next layout. So. You just click this and you're instantly going to this layout. Okay, so for this, we just have a background. So again, a tiled uh, or you know a seamless texture and then another seamless texture. So this one is in the, in the, the far background. So you click right, hit Z order, send straight to the bottom. And then on this wood board, you're going to go to Z order move to top of layer because this is kind of like uh, the wood board when you're at one of those duck hunt uh, games and you you know you rest on it we're also going to need two gunshots we'll play around with those a little bit later on uh, with you know hits and misses and then we're going to need a rod a duck hunt holder board and then the actual duck so the uh, again just like in the beginning with the text that says ready uh, that asks you if you are ready uh, this rod actually does have the same uh, sign effect this time it's just horizontal the period is 20 so the amount of time it takes to do something a magnitude of 30 so it's actually going to move 30 I don't know you could say paces back and forth across this board this duck holder it actually does have a behavior it's called pen and it's actually pinned to uh, this rod and then this duck the actual duck that we're shooting at has pen in physics now physics is not enabled else it would just fall to the floor immediately so on initial state I've actually set it to be disabled which means when we shoot at it it actually falls and then This a smaller silver bullet hole does, ha does also have pins, so it will stick to whatever we're shooting at it. Alright, so on start of layout, the duck holder, 
So the duck holder board is pinned to the uh, rod and then the duck uh, again is pinned to the duck holder board. So duck holder board, rod, uh, duck to the duck holder. And then the gun, basically you clicking on it since this is a phone or a tablet setup. On left click of the duck, we're going to set the physics enabled that will then let the duck fall. And on the, um, it's going to unpin it from the board and it's also going to play a gunshot. And it has to be specifically over the duck. So your mouse actually has to be specifically over the duck for this to actually happen. Um, else, uh, the left click, uh, you know, anything like on the background. Or you could say else, you could literally just have like a left click, blah, 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 else, da, 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 something happens. But right now it's like on left click on the background, so this orange background. And you could have, uh, you set the position of the bullet hole to go with wherever you shot it. And then it's going to uh, play a classic ricochet sound effect. And then if the bullet hole is overlapping the duck, set the bullet hole to pin with the duck holder. So for example, Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And shoots the duck. Okay, so let's restart that. Are we ready? Yep. And oh, I missed. But what we actually want to happen is we want send to the top. Actually, hold on. Wrong order. Uh, send that to the top. Then we send this to the top. Send that to the top. And then send this to the top. So this shouldn't actually be over anything. Good. It's not. Okay. So we do this again. Run the layout. And I miss. Voila. And that's a duck hunt. Now, okay, so I know that was actually pretty easy in pr a pretty quick tutorial. Um, in the next one, we're actually going to have a score counter that shows in the actual game um, also how many bullets you have. So this was just kind of like a little demo thing. And then we're going to actually have multiple ducks. Um, I think this tutorial setup only has ducks yeah so we're just gonna shoot some ducks and then we're gonna have like ones where you have to shoot them specifically in certain areas to get higher points um, and then we're going to learn how to actually export it to Android so this would be a pretty quick little video tutorial if you liked it comment subscribe um, request tutorials I know I have a multiplayer request coming up and that's actually in the works right now I haven't really set up one of those fully, so this is actually going to be kind of fun. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!